Hey guys, what's going on? I just wanted to talk to you guys about when you're having a bad day. When you're having a bad day, go out and do whatever you can. You know, if, if your limit is say, let's use my limit. My limit's five miles. Sometimes I could do seven miles, but basically my limit's five miles. If I'm having a bad day, it does good for me and makes my day better if I go out and do two miles, if that's all I can do, you know? And I determine what I can do when I get out to the car. Even if I just go around the block, and obviously apply this to yourself. If you can go 30 miles, you know, maybe you'll only go 15. If you're housebound, maybe, you know, you can do something that makes you just a little bit uncomfortable. Like um, walking out on the porch or, you know, if you can go to the mailbox, maybe walk to the neighbor's mailbox, you know, or if the neighbor's mailbox is your limit, stop at your mailbox. But on those days when you just feel like you're having a bad day, I'm not talking about the worst day. If you're in full panic mode, just take care of yourself. There's always tomorrow. But if you're just having like an off day, get out there. Because even though you didn't make it all the way to your limit, or as I like to call it, your brick wall, when you get home, you're gonna feel this reward within yourself. Like, oh my God, I, I didn't think that I was going to go anywhere today. I didn't think I was gonna step foot in a store or visit my mother or father or sister or brother or friend or whatever, and I did. You know, and that's a victory, and that's going to help motivate you towards getting better. I just, I think that's extremely important for people with anxiety, not just agoraphobia. You know, if you have uh, social phobias and you're trying to overcome it through exposure therapy, go to a library, you know. Um, if a library is easy for you and you just don't feel like dealing with anyone, Go pick out a DVD or a book or an audio book or, you know, just walk in there and, and look at the selection. If you could only handle, you know, five minutes or one minute in there, the library is the perfect place. I'll tell you, that's a secret for me. I love going to the library when I'm pushing my limits, I guess you could say, because if I walk in there and then have to walk back out within a minute, Nobody thinks anything about it. It's a library as to where if you go to a coffee shop, if, you go, if you're a drinker, if you go into a bar, or if you go into a restaurant and you turn around and walk out without ordering, you know, people might look at you kind of funny. And, you know, if you're worried that you're going to make a fool of yourself, which you're not, I mean, maybe someone might look at you funny for a split second. You're probably not going to run into them again. And if, if you are going to run into them again, chances are you know them and they know what your situation is. You know, I mean, it could be anything. Pretend you get a phone call and your phone's on silent, you know, if you need to get out of situations. But I like the library because I don't have to explain anything to anyone. I could just get out, you know, walk away and, and I'm fine. Or I might pick up, I'm a nerd. I might pick up a comic book or something, sit down at a table and, you know, read a couple pages, see if it's something I want to bring home with me. By the way, the Hulk would totally beat up Superman. You can't tell me any differently. Get into a lot of debates about that. But anyway, I wanted to keep this one short and sweet. Um, just do something, you know? I mean, that's my main thing. Yes, we all have those days where we are in sheer panic mode, not getting out of bed. Uh, wondering, you know, taking our pulses, wondering if we're, you know, going to see tomorrow or, you know, whatever the, the panic does to you, you know, the lies that it tells you, the spirit of fear that it puts within you. Sometimes you just have days where you can't do anything, but you'd surprise yourself. Sometimes you do have days where you can do it, but you don't think you can those are the days that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a day where you're a 100% complete mess because you're just going to put that much more stress on you. I'm talking about a lazy day, 
where, you know, you're just like, oh, I, I can't, you know, I'm, I'm kind of anxious, I'm a little jittery. Those are the days that you go out and you go as far as your body will let you go without panicking. And then as soon as you start going, okay, I think I've gone far enough. I don't care if it's around the block and your limit is five miles. You went around the block on a day that you didn't think you could. That is a victory. God bless.